Today we're here with Sherry Carlo at Carlo Estates. Sherry, you, you got something special to share. Absolutely. Um, we are very excited here. We just had a historic day at Carlo Estates when we harvested our first vintage of Carmenere, which is the sixth and final Bordeaux varietal. So it's always been our dream to make the ultimate Bordeaux wine because we're big Bordeaux lovers Absolutely. here. Absolutely. And uh, finally this year, it's actually in the realm of possibilities because we've always traditionally made what we call Quintus, which is five of the six Bordeaux varietals. Right. Cab Franc, Cab Sauve, Merlot, Malbec, and Petit Verdot. Okay. This past vintage, we were only able to make the Triumvirate, which is only three of the six. Right. So this is Cab Franc, Cab Sauve, and Merlot because of the frost that happened in... The big one. That killed big, everything. That That's right. Yeah. So Triumvirate is an ancient term that refers to when three emperors rule together for balanced government. Okay. So the three grapes creating balance in the right. wine. And um, so we went to this because, of course, we couldn't make the Quintus. But what's so exciting about it now is we finally have harvested our first vintage of... Carbonary, which is the first in Canada. I was going to say that that's not common here. Not at all. <laughs> um, a lot of people actually think it's a Chilean grape varietal, but it's actually a Bordeaux varietal. Absolutely. So uh, back in the 1800s, during the Phylloxera epidemic, <laughs> it was thought to have gone extinct. Um, but luckily, there was a little bit of Carbonary that was exported to Chile amongst some Merlot, okay. and there was a vineyard in there where um, one little patch of it started ripening before anything else. So they did a little DNA test, and lo and behold, it was the missing Carbonary. Really? Yeah. So <laughs> the wine re the wine community rejoiced throughout the land, and we've slowly been propagating it back up through North America. Okay. So we're the first to have it in Canada that I know of, which will allow us to finally make our Sextus our That's holy. The missing wine. ingredient. The missing ingredient to make Sextus, which is all six of the Bordeaux varietals in one bottle. Wow. So it rarely ever happens. I hear tale of maybe Opus One doing it before. Someone said there could be somewhere out in BC. I, I have to look into right. it. But uh, it doesn't mean that we are going to make it this vintage. It means that we might be able to because we still have to procure all the six right. varietals. So what's it looking like? A good well, chance? It's, it's, I don't know, it's very touch and go. Or are you just teasing? Well, I don't know, because, like, I got all excited and did the math on my own, and then the guys, like, Derek Barnett and Ryan Monkman were like, oh, well, we didn't want to tell you, we wanted to surprise you, so I thought, oh, it could be real. But then they're like, oh, we don't know, like, because we have, um, of course, County Cap Franc, uh -huh. and we, on the estate, we grow our own Malbec, which we had a fantastic vintage this year, okay. and the Carbonary. Um, and then we have some Petit Verdot in barrel, so we might be able to use a little of that. So we have to find the Cab Sauve, which we got a line on, but the hardest one to find right now is actually Merlot. Really? You would think Merlot <laughs> would be the easiest. Right. But because of the frost, there was a lot of Merlot uh, that the, the buds died. Okay. So there's not there's going to be a shortage of Merlot for about the next two years. Okay. Um, so yeah, we're just scrambling, trying to find that last little bit. And But there's a chance. There's a chance. It is in the now the realm of possibilities. And uh, so stay tuned to see if we can do it. If not, we'll do either Triumvirate, Quattro, uh, Quintus, but hopefully... S but I'm going to get an invite. Of course you're going to get an invite. And if you join our wine club, we are actually going to invite the wine club members to come and help us with the blend. So we're going to do bench trials. Okay. And we make all the wines as single varietal wines. And then before bottling, we do bench trials and blend them for the longest, smoothest taste profile possible. Well, we're going to put the URL on the website for that one. That sounds exciting. So Sherry, I'm looking forward to this. Oh, it's going to be a good time. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, so Joe, before you go, uh, I want to make sure you got to see the actual grapes themselves. This is the Carbonaire. And uh, really before you go, I want to make sure you get to meet Derek Barnett, our winemaker, to talk to you about what the heck we're doing here. We just harvested the Carbonaire. I think uh, I'm right in saying the first Carbonaire ever harvested in Prince Edward County. Uh, came off last Tuesday. A little bit of juice in the glass. Still, uh, still not really started to ferment yet. Uh, Is there any um, elderware in Ontario? Uh, I, I honestly can't answer that. I don't. Yeah, I don't not that either. I know of. But I'm I, asking uh, everyone, like whoever knows out there. Let's not that I know of. BC is the only place I've seen any record of it, but. Uh, after that, I don't know. Um, so we're just we're just in, in the in the phase where we're we're starting to uh, see a little bit of fermentation in the bin. Uh, it's just a small crop. Uh, we're excited that we'll be able to you know blend this in with some Cab Sauve, Cab Franc, Merlot, Malbec, Petit Verdot, and make what uh, Sherry has been dying to make for years called Sextus. Um, so six grapes blended <laughs> and uh, uh, in, into uh, one table wine, giving us all of the complexities of uh, of those grapes and sort of take try to take us back to a little bit of old Bordeaux. 
Uh, and that's really where we, we're, we're heading to. We hopefully are heading with this one.